Live and on demand from the WNY News Now studios in downtown Jamestown. This is WNY News Now. And thanks for joining us for WNY News Now. I'm Justin Gould. Happy Labor Day to you and yours. Today, we're taking a break from our normal news programming here at noon to give our staff a much-deserved day off. However, don't fret because we have a great half an hour planned for you. In cooperation and collaboration with the Jester's Promoting Company, Jesse Nord takes a look at one local musician who has quite a story to tell. Mr. Chase, how are you, sir? I'd stand up. Oh, my, uh, I'm blocked. Brian K. Chase. What's going on? How's life treating you, man? Good. Awesome. Good, good. I, Living a dream. Um, how would you classify your music? The type of music you play? Uh, I don't know, a little bit of rock, country, blues, jazz, anything that gets your foot tapping. That's the way, that's the way it has to be. Who would you say is your influences? Who influences you? Um. Well, you know, I could uh, I could rattle off a bunch of famous guys that I uh, I grew up listening to, but um. Really, where I honed my uh, honed my craft was uh, like the local guys, Steve Swanson. Steve Swanson, yes. Of course. Um, and my dad, he used to own a bar when I was in high school. And he'd take me down there on a Friday and Saturday night when the bands would be playing. So, you know, guys like Smokehouse, Rock and Rick and the Home Records, okay. uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, Neil Friel, uh, Fast Horses, the, that band isn't even around anymore, but, you know, stuff like that. That's where I hone my craft. How old were you when you, when you thought that music would be the way to go? I can't remember a time that it wasn't. Okay. To be honest with you. Makes sense. Um, and I used to beat on the toolbox with drumsticks and and stuff, you know, when I was about five, six years old. Until my dad bought me a drum kit. So, you know. How, was he was he happy with that decision? Oh yeah, yeah. He's always been my biggest supporter. That's awesome. So. That's awesome. It's always good to have family behind you. Yeah. What uh, What are your goals? I guess. Well, um, honestly, I've reached pretty much every goal that I've wanted to reach. I'm sure I've got more. I mean, I'd like to, you know, travel more. Okay. You know. Uh, <clears throat> Hopefully, we can, can help with help with that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I've 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 done a few tours myself uh, uh, as a as a session guy, like a hired gun, and uh, also done a few of them on my own. You know, New York to L.A. kind of thing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just want to continue doing what I'm doing. Really, that's my only goal. And you, you enjoy this life. I love it. You love it. Yeah. And know it's not easy doing what you do. What would you tell somebody who wants to follow in your footsteps? Um, <laughs> don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell that no, to no, anybody. No, 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 no. Um, I mean... I say that as a joke, but I, I also say it in, in, in all seriousness because it's 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 a tough life, you know. I mean, you know, kind of you're kind of uh, at the mercy of the minute. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you gotta go, you gotta go, and you know, when it's time to leave, then then you gotta leave uh, if you want to make any money doing it, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's. Uh, it's a lonely existence, but it's a good existence. Yeah. I'm sure. But if you want to be with me, there's one thing you should know. You gotta be crazy to love me. You got to be a fool to think I'm wise. You gotta be crazy. How is it lonely? Just well, I'm by myself all the time. I mean, I don't have a band that I play with. Okay. You know, like I said, I'm a hired gun once in a while, but it's few and far between nowadays. 
So it's just pretty much me and my car and you know, in the road. In the road. Yeah. Getting Nothing deep here, man. I want to let people see Brian K. Chase. What do you love about the life you live, about the music life? That's that's a that's a broad question because there's a lot of things I, I love playing. I love <clears throat> traveling. I love meeting people. Mm -hmm. um, I like that it gives me time to do other things that I want to do in life. You're not controlled by a clock. I'm not controlled by a clock. Masses are your boss. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you got to show up on yeah. time. You got to, you got to play a good show, and you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully, people like it. You know. I've heard you play. I don't know why they wouldn't. Well, thank you. <laughs> don't thank. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> You're the one who plays it. The flip side of that, what do you not like about your life, the lifestyle of a musician? Can't think of anything. That's awesome. That that's the best way to live life. Yeah. As long as you have no complaints, that's how you. Well, I remember your life. Paul Stanley from Kiss saying once in an interview, it's like, uh, you know, because they were talking about having to go out and you know not, uh, not being able to be recognized or whatever, and, or being recognized all the time and stuff. Which I don't have that problem <laughs> yet. But uh, but uh, he said it's like being president of the United States and and and. And complaining about wearing a tie <laughs> or enough. winning the lottery and now complaining we, about having to pay taxes I mean you know it's yeah. you know sure there's it's, things it's, there's things that, that that upset me you know day day to day where mm -hmm. I'm just like come on man but you know that's just life everybody's got that yeah, issue, I, yeah you know? absolutely what's it like playing the local music scene well to be honest with you I don't really play locally all that much like in the Jamestown area okay um, there's a few places that I do play once in a while and um, I love it, you know, because um, when I do play around here, you know, most of the people come out or my friends mm -hmm. and I get to see them and hang out with them. That, okay, that's that's one thing I don't like about it because uh, I'm gone every weekend and I never really get to go out and yeah. hang out with my friends okay. and stuff. But, you know, so that's kind of cool when I get to play around here and, you know, get to see my buddies. Well, let me let me broaden that question a little bit. Would you rather play to 50,000 people or a bar full of 100 people? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. It's all the same. You know what? Sometimes I'll be playing, there'll be 20 people in a place and, you know, people don't seem interested. I try to get them interested, you know, but there's mm -hmm. some places you go to, they're just like, oh, man, I, you know. <laughs> but uh, but then you see that one person in the corner tapping their foot and you're like, all right, I got you. Yeah. Now it's time to reel <laughs> the rest of them in. And that's a challenge, I'm sure. Mm. <clears throat> but that's few and far between. Oh, then, but most places you got people most, most places dancing are, and just oh, rocking yeah. out. Yeah, I like I like to put on a show, you know, because mm -hmm. if they're having a good time, wait, I'm wait, having a good wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. You're a showman who likes to put on a show? Oh, of course. Of course. I can't just, just stand up there and play guitar. That's ridiculous. I guess I was just pointing out the I'm ironic. not Bob Dylan. <laughs> 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 you know? <laughs> I still hear the train coming down the track And it's still gone when I look back That old house has been torn down Where I live is now a ghost town Who is your favorite musical artist? My 
favorite musical artist? Um, man. That's a hard question. That's a, that's a big one because I've got so many. I mean, I grew up listening to Kiss. I mean, that was my favorite band mm -hmm. growing up. Um, my favorite band growing up was the Charlie Daniels band. I mean, I love Frank Sinatra. Oh, I love Sinatra. I love Johnny Cash. I love Johnny Cash. Um, I love Volbeat. You know, Don't Dave know. Mustaine, Megadeth, uh, Child of the 80s. Yeah, a lot of 80s <laughs> stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know. <clears throat> if, I, if I had to If choose... it makes your foot tap, man, it's good music. You know, I don't care what it is. If you if you enjoy it, makes your heart beat, makes your foot tap. That's good music. You didn't ask me, but I'm going to tell you, my my favorite artist I do believe of all time. You know who Harry Chapin is? Oh, of course. I love Harry Chapin. Harry Chapin, I feel, is probably one of the greatest songwriters that you'll ever hear. Mm -hmm. Because just his songs, just they touch you. Yeah. And they're just they're deep and just thoughtful, like. Taxi, obviously, is a good one. Um, Mr. Tanner was a cleaner from a town in the Midwest. And all the clean... Was he? What's that? Was he? Yeah, and Mr. you know, Tanner? yeah, and out of all the cleaning shops around, he made his the best. Oh, really? But That's awesome. He also was a baritone who sang while hanging clothes. He practiced scales while pressing tails and sang at local shows. Okay, we're done now. I'm not going to keep going with that song. I don't know. I was digging it. So. I know music is fun. Everybody loves music. Mm -hmm. What drives you to be a musician, to, to, to drive hours at night to go to your, your gigs? What drives you? Obviously the money, but aside from the money. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I mean, you gotta make a living. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, passion's great, but it doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But no, I just love it. I just love playing, you know? I, just, I, I just get really it. I love playing. I mean, that's it's as simple as that. It really doesn't go any much further than that. It's always been a thing. I, I I cannot imagine my life without having music in it one way or another because I I literally have never I I wouldn't know what to do with myself without it because it's always been a part of my life. Always... I can't remember a time when it wasn't. I even learned how to walk. My dad would. Uh, when I was learning how to walk, my dad would set a record player on the floor and play records. And I would crawl to the records. I would crawl to the music. And, you know, he'd stand me up. And that's how I learned to walk. Good. You know, so I don't remember a time in my life where music wasn't, uh, you know, like the number one thing. Well, a personal story I remember. You're the one who inspired me to balance a stick on my nose. <laughs> oh, wow. P.T. Barnum. P.T. Barnum. Oh, Panama, yeah. 1994. Yep, 1994. <laughs> you were a senior that year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> P.T. Barnum. I still watch it every now and then. Not my version of it, because I, believe it or not, I can't watch myself perform. You can't, no? Never have that, been able to. Hmm. But um, uh, I watch the Michael Crawford version of Barnum every now and then. Nice. It's great. Nice. Those are good times, man. Yeah. Back when we were young and dumb and didn't know anything. Well, <laughs> I'm still young, dumb, still don't know anything. I, 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 I beg to differ. <laughs> I'm sure life has taught you a few good lessons. <laughs> yeah, a couple of them. If you had a dream, if tomorrow you could wake up doing anything, being anywhere, what would you be where? What would you be doing where? I don't really give that much thought. Hmm. I had a dream. I try to do. I don't know. Probably the same thing I'm doing right now. Probably on a bigger scale. Awesome. But same thing I'm doing now. Awesome. You know. I like that answer. We're both older now. We both life has taught us lessons. What is the biggest thing that life has taught you? The biggest thing that life has taught me. Uh, man. You know, you're working on stuff every day. It Do doesn't matter how old you get. You're, mm -hmm. You know, you think you have it down, and but then you, you wake don't. up one day and you're like, "Oh man, now I got to work on this too." You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go in the line of work, you know, traveling around, playing music, or or, or you know anything, it doesn't really matter. If but what you want to do first of all, stay away from drugs. Um, Stay away from any excess alcohol. 
any kind of excess. Everything's you know, good in moderation. Anything's good in moderation. Um, I've learned about myself that I'm really not that good in moderation. So uh, I've, I've kind of cut those things out of my life. Well, it takes strength. You know, it and, takes uh, a lot of strength. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'm a very strong guy, but I'm a very, I, I, I guess I'm a strong-willed guy. And when I make yes. up my mind to do something, I do it. Um, you know, I've, I've done everything in my life that I've set my mind on doing. I really have. You and know? That, that's, that's, and I've made that's a, a lot of feeling. mistakes doing them, but I've, but I've, I've uh, accomplished pretty much everything that I've ever wanted to do. That's all. That, I um, love hearing that. And I truly do. You, you've got to be driven. And like you said, everything in moderation. Um, it's not really strength, I don't think. It's more of a, more of a, you know seeing that straight line and not letting anything else get in your way. Of, and when something does get in your way, then you got to get rid of that something that's getting in your way. You have to manage your life by having goals and having strong will to follow what you want done and don't let anybody tell you different. Well, that's right. I guess that, that seems a little strong. No, it's, it's absolutely right. I have a, I have a saying. I um, can't remember who said it, but it was in a book by Larry Wingate. It said, what anybody has to say about me is none of my business. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I love that line. That's excellent. So, you know. And coming up, what Brian K. Chase has to say to his local fans as our conversation continues this Labor Day. Live and on demand, you're watching WNY News Now. Want weather now? Download the WNY News Now mobile app and stay up to date on severe weather alerts. Plus, anytime hazardous weather strikes, stick with the Southern Tier's only 24-7 streaming network that keeps you safe. You're all in a tornado warning, so now is the time to go to a safe place, small room, lowest floor, near the center, away from windows. What are you waiting for? Download the WNY News Now mobile app today. It's free in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. You're watching WNY News Now, where coverage comes first. EagleZip.com is your local one-stop shop for all of your home and business computer needs. Located on Fluvanna Avenue Extension, just outside of Jamestown, EagleZip.com sells and services all brands of desktops and laptops, as well as servers and network equipment for your business. All new computer sales include transferring your data from your old computer, plus a two-year warranty. Call EagleZip.com today. Stop by EagleZip.com today and let us make computers easy for you. Now open in downtown Jamestown, Pearl City Hops, Restaurant and Tavern. I have some real old-timey dishes on there that I'm just giving new life to. Like there's a shepherd's pie on there that's going to have some bison in it, you know, real thick hearty gravy. Um, then I'm also doing beer flights. We're pairing it with a set of sliders, a set of tacos, and a set of mini rolls. Everything's going to have its own pair so you can get a taste of a little bit of everything and all the beers. We don't want to be known as the restaurant in the hotel. We want to be known as Pearl City Hops. With coverage that matters, this is WNY News Now. Extra, extra, read all about it. Not tomorrow, but right now on the WNY News Now mobile app. Follow local news as it happens. Top story of Forestville man's weather video has gone viral. And stay informed with the Southern Tier's only 24-7 streaming network. Our Matt Hummel is standing by live outside of Chautauqua County Court with more on this case. Matt, good afternoon to you. Download the WNY News Now app right now. It's free on the app. Apple App Store and Google Play Store. What's your favorite uh, genre of music to play? Um, well, it depends on what instrument I'm playing. Well, there. I play. I play a few different instruments. I play what piano, are those instruments? piano, guitar, bass, drums, sing. Uh, I can squeeze out smoke on the water on a saxophone. <laughs> That's about it. But um, you know, on on drums, I love playing like the old, like metal. You know 
Tommy Lee kind of stuff. You know, I'm a basher. You know, the double pedal going a million miles an hour, stuff like that. Um, guitar, I really like playing the blues kind of stuff. I was um, blues, blues rock, you know. Uh, piano, I, I like playing ballads, mm -hmm. you know. Um, bass, I love playing funk, you know, that slapping and popping kind of stuff. Um, vocals, you know, I guess I've been told I've got a very kind of bluesy voice. You do. Raspy, you, do. you know, so I guess... I guess that's that would be my favorite. I, I'm I guess not really favorite, but uh, it's just kind of it's just kind of where I'm where my uh, wheelhouse is, where I'm comfortable with, you know. I know you have fans because you're a hell, of an, a hell of an artist. What are your fans like? What age range? What, what, male, female? Ex explain um, your norm, your average fan to me. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, there's kind of all ages, any anywhere from you know twenties up into their fifties, and you know, uh, even seen some older people than that. How do you um, interact with them during during your show? I just have fun with them. I don't. I don't like the word fan, like Prince said. It's not really, and I'm not Prince, believe me. That <laughs> guy was amazing, but we're more friends than fans. Because, you know what, that makes I sense. I don't really look at myself as being, you know, that, but, but the thing that is, important. So, <clears throat> I mean, fans, no. Friends, yes. Um, and how do I interact with them? Just like I'd interact with anybody, you know. I don't, I don't, I put on a show on stage and stuff like that, but I don't. But you're the when real I talk, deal when off. I talk when I talk to people, I talk to people like I talk to people. Kind of close this up. What what's next? Well, uh, I'm in the studio, working on a, a a new CD or album or USB drive or whatever they're using now. Whatever uh, what format they're is using. This? It's a law studio in Jamestown. Uh, we with, have a relationship uh, with them. Ron Wheeler Ron and, and Derek. Derek Wheeler. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, amazing guys. Good people. Good really people. great people. Yep. And uh, so I've been working with them a little bit. Um, I actually just did a did a session with them on a song called Lake Chautauqua that they I've heard that. that they put out. Where it's actually going to be released on. Uh, it was released, wasn't it? No, not yet. Or the song was the video. Okay. The video okay, is going to be released. Yeah, but I did vocal on that, and uh, a lot of different musicians around the mm -hmm. area uh, played on that. But uh, so I've been working in their studio and uh, working on a new. Uh, New project. Um, They've got a nice studio too. Yeah, and uh, when I get a little bit of time off, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive out to Nashville and see if I can't, uh, you know, get some more session work out there. Just because I haven't done it in a long time, so I kind of wanna kind of wanna break back into that a little bit, not too much, because I still love doing what I do. Mm -hmm. But I just kind of miss going and playing with a band, you know, things yeah. like that. But, uh, uh, that's about it. I've got um, I've got three albums out right now. What are those albums? The first one is called Here's To You. That one, that was in 2009. And uh, I'm going to be re-releasing that. That's not in print right now, but I'm going to be re-releasing that soon. I want to get it remastered. Uh, the second one was called Bruner. I took that off the shelves because... Uh, I, I hated the production of it. Mm. The songs are great. I love the songs, but I hated the production just of it. The way, I hate the way it was put together. I just hate the way it was put together. So I'll, at <clears> some <throat> point, I'd like to re-record that because I, I do like the songs. Um, and then I have uh, my last one called Focus, and you can get that on uh, Amazon. Just look up Brian K. Chase, Focus, and uh, it's on there. I think it's like, on Amazon, I think it's like eight bucks for the whole album, or you can buy Song you know, by song. Yep, song by song, of course. How would people get a hold of you if they wanted to book you or they wanted to be a fan? Um, or I go a through. A friend. I'm I sorry. go through. Well, you can friend me on Facebook, Brian K. Chase. Okay. You know, I'm the only dork on there with bandana. It says Brian K. Chase. Um, 
and uh, I go. Th uh, my booking agent is uh, John Street from uh, Blue Moon Management. Blue Moon Management. Blue Moon Management. You can uh, look him up on Facebook as well. Okay. It's John any? Street, Blue Moon Management. <laughs> <laughs> you on Instagram or anything? No. No Twitter. Nothing. No, I'm. I'm kind of a. I'm kind of a technological uh, novice. I don't really. <laughs> I'm with you there. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have television. I've got a extensive movie collection, <laughs> but I, I don't have television. I, you know, I get on. I get on uh, social media once in a while, and uh, make people mad. <laughs> Brian K. Chase the asshole. Yeah. Yep. That pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been called a little worse than that, but yeah, we'll go with that. All right, we want to thank Brian so much for sitting down with us and talking to us this Labor Day. And great work by Jesse and the crew over there at the Jester's Promoting Company. For putting together this segment, you can check them out on Facebook. Just search The Jester's Promoting CO. That's going to do it for us today. Hopefully you have a wonderful Labor Day. News continues 24-7 at WNYNewsNow.com. And on our mobile app, you can download it right now on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Just search WNYNewsNow. It's free. We'll see you back here tomorrow.